Here's a <clears throat> kind of a tour of the rig. There's the there's the main board with the microphone amp up there in the corner. Yellow wiring indicates uh, wiring that used used on only on transmit. Uh, the Pro Mini turned upside down. We got our LCD display. We got our little BFR 106 uh, receiver RF amp uh, transmitter pre driver. That's it. And uh, we're getting about uh, somewhere close to 22 milliwatts, maybe 20 milliwatts. Uh, on 10 meters on 10 meters single sideband so uh, indeed that could, that bodes well uh, for the the BFR 106 I will use uh, one more BFR 106 and that's I'm going to repeat the stage here that's the microphone app I'll use that same design for the audio preamp and then uh, this is a packaged audio app I'll get rid of that <clears throat> and we're going to plug into uh, BFR 106 driving the um, LM 380 N-8 so there are two more boards, or actually three more boards. I need to finish the audio amplifier board that will permanently go in there. And then there's the driver board and then the IRF 510. I might have an RDO6 HHF1, and if I can get uh, 500 milliwatts of drive out of the 2219, which is a driver board, which I've got to build, uh, I'll, in essence, uh, uh, use that in, instead, and we'll see. We can get probably close to 6 watts. Six watts of solid RF on on uh, ten meters. Pete here, N6QW. This is fun. Yeah, Pete here, N6QW, and uh, we're doing some testing on our uh, new ten meter single sideband transceiver. Uh, essentially, the uh, RF preamp, also the uh, TX pre driver stage, uh, is putting out uh, almost three three volts. And so I'm just uh, measuring across that. And uh, you can see the pattern. And I think where we got it right there, I'm not going to touch it. Uh, but it kind of looks okay. kind of looks like uh, we're doing what we should be doing. Uh, I might touch up the audio gain just here a bit. And uh, see, we, we ran the uh, voltage down on the audio gain. Uh, we're flat topping. And uh, there, that pattern looks a little bit better. That's about the right setting. So uh, it was a good plan to uh, to uh, essentially move the voltage down to uh, uh, nine volts on the BFR 106. Man, that's that's a really great audio amplifier, although it's uh, up into the gigahertz range. And uh, I think we have the IF uh, IF amplifier gain set properly. So uh, I'm kind of encouraged by what I see now. What I'm going to do, I'm just looking at the oscilloscope here. Uh, what I'm going to do uh, in another test is actually take this over to the other bench <clears throat> and uh, put the SDR radio on it and uh, I want to take a look at the spectrum in the waterfall but it uh, looks like it's got a lot of sound power now we do have uh, some filtering we do have some filtering on the audio uh, coming out of the, uh, the, uh, the both the received audio and transmitted audio the uh, mic amp and the receiver uh, preamp audio preamp there's a filter there's a filter so we don't uh, put uh, more than about three kilohertz into the uh, single sideband filter but I'm uh, kind of encouraged what I see that uh, the filter might be working pretty good here and uh, again the real test is uh, to uh, run this on the SDR and to uh, to really get a feel of what that is the uh, frequency of operation right now is uh, 28 uh, 0.3 megahertz 28.3 megahertz is uh, what I'm looking at on the on the down so uh, we're, we're doing okay uh, I think so far I'm uh, encouraged by what I see in terms of the uh, uh, signal output pattern uh, if you calculate uh, 3 volts peak uh, that's about 22 milliwatts if you uh, hit uh, 2N2219 uh, a, a driver stage uh, and they had uh, say about uh, 15, 13, 15 dB gain. Uh, that would be almost uh, 500 milliwatts. And uh, run it into an IR510 with a 10 dB gain, uh, you have 5 watts out. So that would be really good on, uh, on 10 meters with uh, 5 watts. So uh, the BFR106 so far, there's four. There's four in the rig, one in the mic amp, two in the IF module. And one in the uh, receiver RF amp to, uh, transmitter uh, pre-driver. So uh, pattern is looking okay. 
Let me crank a little bit back here on the uh, audio gain. Hello, radio. Hello, radio. That's uh, probably about the better setting there. And the uh, mic gain is only about a quarter quarter open. So the circuit that is published <coughs> on the on the blog, uh, hamradiogenius.blogspot.com, uh, is what I'm using with the VFR106. Only this time I put nine volts. Nine volts. Didn't want to run on, run it up on. Uh, Matter of fact, I was able to see uh, <laughs> you run it up with 12 volts. You can get 7 volts out of that thing, and that'll kill the ADE1. So uh, anyway, this is Pete here, N6QW, and uh, we're looking at um, the transmitter output just across 50 ohms uh, across the transmit pre-driver stage. So uh, I'm going to be signing here, and uh, I'm most encouraged by what I see. Pete here, N6QW, now clear.